Hey y'all, this coronavirus threat is getting more serious as its potential impact on future consoles for next gen is looming. Let's get into it. What's up people, what's up people, what's up people? It is your boy MM2K back again with another video. Do me a huge favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up, y'all know the deal, because I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. All right, first and foremost, I wanna do this. I wanna take y'all here. This is the Broadband Bullies website. And if you were not aware, this is a full-fledged website where we have serious articles up there that look at in-depth news the latest news we got it up there first as you can see it's very well fleshed out you can even see some of our game streams on twitch on there um and a lot of articles up there a lot of hard work put into this website to bring you the latest news so you definitely don't want to miss it we also got other tabs related to music um expand your mind urban wear you know and um we also got other stuff that is coming aboard. But definitely check check this site out. A lot of good stuff on there. And of course, the latest gaming news, as always, given to you from the broadband bullies. Now, what is the latest news today? The latest news right here is major threat looms. And it's the carnivorous virus um, threatens next-gen consoles. And this article on the Broadband Bully site comes to you courtesy of your boy, MM2K. Uh, <laughs> so I just wanted to give you a little snippets of it and talk about it real quick. The scare surrounding COVID-19 is having an impact on tech development. And it's told by GameIndustry.biz, concerns of the virus spreading may shut down major supply chains. Um, and for those of you that don't know what COVID-19 is, that is... The, I guess the, the the pharmaceutical or whatever you want to call it name of the coronavirus. And here where we pull our sources from, you can definitely go here and check it out. Um, very interesting read nonetheless. And it tells you about how rapid this, this scare in regards to this virus is growing. Here's what I want to say ultimately about all this. Um, I know that in regards to travel, there were some questions and we had some some fiery debates on Next Gen 720's channel and there's a lot of fiery debate on social media. I've been involved in a few of them. Um, and, and, and it's good to see these debates hash out live. Nothing personal, just it's good to see the debates hash out live. So those that are not in the know can absorb all of it and make their decisions on what should be their best foot forward in regards to all this. Um, it, it, we, we actually help them make those decisions, right? Um, the thing that I want to note is that I get when these p epidemics happen, they may not reach certain sectors. And because it's not tangible in your hands, it's hard to fathom why this thing is a quote unquote threat. And regardless of what the origins is of this virus or, you know, how deadly or flu may be as far as the people that it kills, uh, perception is nine tenths of the law. And the fact of the matter is, is that public perception is that this thing is growing rapidly. And unlike most flus, it doesn't require you to Ziploc bodies in the plastic bags dead or alive in order to transport them. You understand what I'm saying? So just the optics to it look scary the fact that it is so wide reaching looks scary and if and, and its rapid growth is scary and if i am someone in two sectors i'm really concerned about this and again i get where you may not relate to this but this is where you got to get out of your own silo and start looking at things from where like we always say five thousand feet the world is bigger than you you know what I mean? And even and because it's bigger than you, things that happen outside of your little silo is eventually going to ripple that silo. And before you grab your jaws like uh, Macaulay Cock in Ohio alone and be like, what's, ah, what's going on? It's better to be in the know and understand why stuff happens. So if I'm in two sectors, this is really concerning me. <coughs> Excuse me. Sector number one is, of course, if I'm in the factories making this hardware. If I'm in the factories making this hardware and everybody around me is sick, 
the the carry of that virus can be on the hardware so of course they got to stop production and then this thing is just not like a common cold where people could just you know flip it off i mean it, it has hardcore effects so once you catch it you got to go under strict quarantine you know in order to save your life um in addition to that if you can't ramp up production and everything is set in china or in other places where this is predominant you can't just flip a switch and start making the stuff somewhere else. I mean, you might have satellite production areas where you can ramp up a little bit of production, but you can't just pick up a warehouse and carry it somewhere else. So that's going to have the effect on the hardware. But secondly, there's big questions around travel. Why is Sony canceling shows? And I know that there's a big spotlight on Sony not being so forthright on specifics early on like they normally would. And I've covered that too. Like I've had my my talk on the disappointment of Sony not coming to E3. I get all that, but don't mix apples and oranges. This is something different. We 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 had Facebook pull out as well. You know what I'm saying? So this isn't just some, some fake random thing that Sony's making up because they don't want to show you The Last of Us 2. You have employees that come that want that are going to do these presentations if these employees are scared because they're afraid of everybody potentially from infected areas coming and surrounding them and asking them questions about the playstation 5 therefore they don't want to participate it is indicative of sony to say you know what regardless if they're closing down the whole uh showcase or not our people are concerned we're not coming and again if you're not in that silo if you're in a silo and that doesn't affect you i get it with that being said though you got to think beyond you because the world is bigger than you um i personally know people that have to travel internationally or have to rely on international travel and their companies are not doing what sony is doing and they're scared out of their minds um they're like these people that are coming from infected regions coming here that's scaring me and i'm forced by my job to have to interact with these people so this is serious stuff and it's going to have impact in in presentations and stuff that were shown and, and and more importantly it could have a potential impact on the hardware that we receive or when we receive it so understand things more than just around the five feet around you be smarter than that and look and, and look at things from five thousand feet and be what in the know and with that said, that's it from your boy, MM2K. Let me know what you think about what I had to say about all this in the comment section below. Do you think that this is being overblown or this is a serious threat? Let us know um, because like I always say, here's what I think. But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. Those links will lead to the PNTS network, broadband bullies, the hard knock digital culture, and yes, the Stadia dosage. And with that being said, you all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.